Okay, just wanted to do a quick video for you. It's just before winter and winter is definitely here at Port Augusta. So I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're having a great season with your lawn point applications. Mine's doing not so bad. Let's have a bit of a look. Looking great, just that bit that I over mowed. That's still yet to repair, but it's coming along. But other than that, tickety burn, it's all going well. Look, um, I'm gonna have the lawn pawn program out for winter in a couple of days. Now, admittedly, winter time isn't exactly a fantastic time for warm season grasses. It's the time of dormancy and the time of not really mowing much. So, not much going on there, but thing is, you still need to pay attention to your nutritional needs. And also, you really need to pay attention to your weed pressures that happen during winter because we don't want weeds becoming a problem in our lawn. Now, your nutritional needs for your lawn during the winter season is going to be lower. Um, it still needs everything. Probably needs a little bit more uh, potassium for uh, pressure. Uh, for pressure? Needs a little bit more potassium for protection and things like that. Iron is a uh, bit of a micronutrient, which is kind of important. It gives you that deep dark green, but it's also quite good at protecting the plant against some of the winter ills and things like that. You don't need to push so much nitrogen because it's not growing. Um, and the other thing about fertilizing in winter is that you're really trying to get some of the fertilizer into the ground there and sitting there ready and waiting for when spring comes along and so the nutrition is there. And that's why Hero is just such an important uh, product because it's a humic acid. It really gets into the ground nicely, it aggravates the microbial activity for one, but the other benefit is that it acts like a bank holding onto the nutrients waiting for the plant to grab them. So you'll notice, and I'll go straight into the months now, I'll pop them up on the screen for you, is that June and July pretty much mirror each other. The day one and week two is when we're getting our hero and just a little bit of moist to help that hero get into the ground easily. But you'll notice in the June, we've got uh, history, which is our black beetle um, application. And we like you to get into the habit of using history at the start of the season. Now, admittedly, this time of the year, it isn't really going to do much because the best time to use history is just before spring, just before Christmas, when the bug pressure is at a sort of a, a maximum. And, uh, but you know, we just want you getting into that habit of using it once a month. It's only gonna cost you a dollar per application per month. It costs you $4 a year to just make sure that you've got protection that whole year round. But look, admittedly, you're using history. You can get away without using it this time of year if you want to, but I like to because I like it for the insurance factor, so to speak. So you'll notice in week one and week two of, sorry, week one of June and July is that we've got launch at 50 mils, root builder at 50 mils, nice little tank mix. Launch is fantastic for condition. Uh, it's got a balanced NPK, so I'm not pushing too much nitrogen into it and you know what, I totally forgot to speak about Four Seasons, so I'll speak about that now. Uh, four Seasons at the start of the season, and we like pushing and promoting that as well because it's a nice uh, fertiliser. Uh, up to 16 weeks of feeding, and this is the time of the year where Four Seasons will last the longest because there isn't the heat around. So, um, and that's really the backbone as well, and it gives you that nice little iron uh, iron um, dose at the start of the season, getting the plant ready for the winter ills, but also giving you that bit of color. Getting back to week one in June and July, so I'm doing all this all off of memory, is uh, 50 mils per the 100 square meters of launch, 50 mils of root builder, low doses. It doesn't need that much, especially after that June application of four seasons. There's plenty of nutrition there. But that's a nice foliar feed, and the thing about foliar feeding is that you're not using much water um, and you're using all the nutrients efficiently. It feeds through the leaf, it doesn't need to be watered in. There's no leaching, and 
tickety-boo, your plant gets everything you need. Remember that this time of year, the plant isn't doing much. It's not gonna be taking so much from the ground. So, you know, feeding nutrients into the ground, although it's important to have them there, it's not readily taking a lot from the ground. So, yeah, this is why, you know, this is such a fantastic thing to do in winter is start off with your granular and then follow up with your foliar feeds. Now, June and July, we're really building up the amount of hero in the soil profile. So that's why you'll notice that week two is when we're getting it in there. And that's a strategic application for a couple of reasons. Well, number one, we always want better soil health for sure. That's not a problem. And it'll give you the better soil health by activating the soil microbes, which, you know, eat up all the decaying stuff and everything like that and produce nutrients. You beauty, but it also acts like a bank for nutrients. And if your soil isn't, you know, isn't a neutral pH as well, it certainly helps fight any imbalances in pH, so to speak, by holding on to those nutrients a little bit longer for the plant to get. So it's um, something that we're building up over the June, July. You won't see much difference when you use that hero and you're building up that uh, hero humic acid over those months, but the real benefit will be spring, and we'll talk about that in just a moment, going into spring. Which brings us to August. August is a fantastic little uh, program. You'll notice the difference there is that we just, uh, you know, top up that hero again at the start of the month with a little amount of moist, you beauty, and then we start, um, because the weather is starting to become a little bit warmer, hopefully, and obviously the daylight is a little bit longer, we can go that a little bit harder with launch and root builder. I think, from memory, I've got 80 mils or 70 mils thereabouts of launch and root builder uh, for week one. And then week two, this is a very strategic special application of Four Seasons. Now, why we're doing Four Seasons at the week two of August is it's gonna be a couple of weeks before spring. Remember all that hero that we've built up into the profile? Well, you know, tickety-boo. Yeah, we've got that uh, hero nicely in there, ready and waiting for some nutrients, some soil-based nutrients. So we're getting that four seasons down. Now, slow release nitrogen. There's a fair bit there and that'll be taken in by the hero, ready to really rock and roll um, a few weeks down the track, get the growth started. And then, you know, in uh, week two, week three of September, when spring gets rolling and it might be a little bit later, if you're in cooler areas such as Melbourne sort of thing, a, a Renault might be sort of like October, mid-October. But anyway, getting to the point is that uh, that application in week two of August is just such a fantastic application for getting the lawn to think about growing again, have the nutrients there ready for when you do a Renault. And then when you do your Renault, okay, look, you okay, you, look, you waste a, a little bit of the four seasons um, for sure because it will get sucked up in the reno. However, most of it over like that four to five week period will be in the ground and your beauty, uh, once you do your reno, fantastic. So to end out August, getting back to August is that, uh, you know, it's um, charger 300 mils. It's a little bit higher dose, uh, simply to just get some leaf growth going and get the plant going as well. And you know, um, ending the, the month on a green light is just sort of more or less having it look good for the uh, end of the month. And uh, you know, just that little bit of extra protection. Now, when it comes to care of your lawn throughout winter, mowing, look, my June, I'll mow probably two or three times. I'll mow once in July and once in August, maybe twice. That's it, it's not doing much. And when you do mow, um, very, very lightly. You don't want to be causing these marks that I've got here by you know, mowing too low, too aggressively, etc., etc. When it comes to watering, well, if you know, we're going to have a wet, uh, thanks to La Nina, um, winter apparently. So, you know, you can pretty much switch irrigation off if you really want to, if you've got the rain in your area. Um, I'm thinking about it, but at the moment I'm watering once a week, uh, 45 minutes. That's it, that's all it needs. I've got a little bit of rain here and there, not too much. We don't tend to get too much of Port Augusta, but uh, I just keep an eye on the mornings and if the, my, my lawn is uh, all frosty in the morning, well, I'll give it a quick five minute water to melt that frost before I go to work. 
So yeah, there's your watering, there's your mowing, there's your fertilization and the whole benefit, and this is what I want you to think about, like you're not gonna see a heck of a lot of change in winter, but following the program is gonna keep you in the best condition for winter and really make sure that you start spring going very, very well. Now the other thing I wanted to say is on page five, there's a starters program. But the thing about winter, the winter program, the thing about the winter program is that really, uh, if you've never used the lawn pool program before, you can start anywhere pretty much in the winter program because everything's a low level anyway. So if you've never used foliar fertilizers before or haven't used history before or haven't used hero before, you can certainly go ahead and get into it right at the start of the program. I'll leave the page five of the program saying, look, you know, here's you know, a starters program, but realize that you can get into the program straight away. Also, I did speak a little bit about weed pressure and weed pressure in uh, winter will be a thing that you'll have to keep an eye out for. Um, if you haven't used pre-emergent herbicide, uh, you even now, even right at the end of May, you may notice winter grass coming up. If you're getting winter grass coming up, you have to treat it early. Uh, for the simple reason is that um, yeah, you're going to have to treat it early. Once it's grown and it's got its seed heads out, it basically is a big green skeleton and dead. It's not moving within itself um, and putting herbicides on it when you've got a mature winter grass plant isn't really going to do much. So treat for your winter grass early if, if you see it. And look, you know, for my lawn, which is cooch, front and back, different types, but you know, cooch, I use bow and arrow for broadleaf weeds that come up uh, and get on top of them. So that's nice and gentle, it doesn't affect the lawn. But you know, when it comes to post-emergent herbicides that are selective, you're really gonna have to do your research on what is suitable for your lawn. And then even once you've got something that you think is suitable for your lawn, the best thing to do is to treat a little area of the lawn, a little test area, and see if it will work uh, and not affect your lawn on that little test area and then go for it. You know, unfortunately winter for warm season lawns isn't terribly exciting, but look, you know, uh, I say that, you know, enjoy the season um, and just enjoy the, you know, that it's looking a little bit different. I kind of like the look of its winter coat. You know, I kind of call it the green greys when I see that little bit of thatch come through and you know, the lawn isn't in its, uh, in, its, in its best condition. And I don't mind that. You can really get into turf pigments. We've got one, it's called Instagreen, but seriously, I just keep the lawn in good condition and uh, you know, right up to spring, it'll look fairly decent. And then when spring hits, renovate, and then it'll look really decent. All right, so I hope that's helped you out. Sorry about being a quick unedited video today, but yeah, I uh, had some things that I had to do in Adelaide for the family and just come back and yeah, not much time. And I think she's about to rain. So thank you for all your support over the last few years with Lawn Porn. If you're new to Lawn Porn, thank you very much. It's, it's been amazing. Um, there's going to be more stores, I think, uh, coming on board over the next few months, uh, getting ready for the spring season. Everybody that's uh, supported lawn porn in the stores, it's just fantastic. It keeps growing. They keep ordering more. Um, it's just, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just really, really blessed by it and uh, just astounded by it. It just is, uh, is, thank you very much. What can I say, you know? Um, I try and present it in the best possible fashion to help you guys and look you know this isn't the greatest video today but i'll be doing lots over the winter season uh, on lawn porn so please subscribe like and uh and and share and comment and all that it's really appreciated and it helps me grow thank you very much and uh, look any comments and questions check them in the comments section and i'll keep an eye out and answer them all right thanks everybody get your lawn on